God, that one's moving. Oh no. Oh no. It's about to hatch. Do they all move or is it just one of them? <laughs> no, it's like, no, that one's sort of <laughs> Oh, a couple of them moving now. Here's where you disappear and they never find them. They already sacrificed this child. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what they do. This they, is take, the... they take the babies that don't make it and they throw them in the yeah, yeah, yeah. and one will eat them. This is the fertilizer. This is the fertilizer child. Reception. The map doesn't work, but we're gonna take this blue dot somewhere over here. Go blue dot. So the Babyland General Hospital is the birthplace of the Cabbage Patch Kids, located in Cleveland, Georgia. Xavier Roberts converted an old clinic into a factory from which to sell his dolls, originally called Little People. It's presented as a birthing, nursery, and adoption center for premium Cabbage Patch Kids. I don't like the idea of birthing a doll. Although the fad surrounding the dolls has largely died down, it's still heavily trafficked by diehard fans and curiosity seekers. I think that's what we are. Kind of. Curiosity seekers. Can we get the cows to look? Get up. Hey! The cows don't give a fuck about us. Jesus. It's big, right? Yeah. Let's give you a private tour. <laughs> oh, look at those kids, they're so excited. Oh, they're gonna go to the birth. <laughs> there's like picnic tables and stuff oh, where people is, like spending days out here. This is a destination. I guess so. Hey, Billy Joel. It says to Xavier. I like this guy's haircut. You should go to the barber later. It's Kevin King Room. Oh, yeah. Can you get that haircut? I think I had a teacher that looked like that. Mm. Oh man, look at this one. That was a little person. See these little people? Yeah, I see it. Man. Listen, I don't want to be this guy, but some of these older dolls are really scary. <laughs> look at this one. Oh, he's awesome. He's <laughs> calling the ones now. It says, hello, my name is Wade. Oh yeah. All right, let's go and try to blend in with these people. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you see she was wearing like a... What? Oh yeah, they all are. I'm looking in the back. <laughs> oh. There's the gnome ones. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a big sauce tricycle right there.
It's horrifying. We're gonna have to solve a lot of puzzles to get out of here. More tricycles, and they're getting oh, yeah. these. This is a bigger one. We're in deep trouble. You can get one for Halloween to paint Jigsaw's face on it and like remote control a tricycle around town. <laughs> to do that and drive it through this. <laughs> Yeah. Where it talks. Yeah. Oh. Well, at least the doctor's on top of the case. They're, they're adoptable. You can take one home. I want to find the birthing room. We should get Paul. Oh, really? That's a sleigh with the presents in them. It's kind of cool. Yeah. We'll have to get a picture of that. I was here. Yeah. Something years ago. Damn bicycles. Or what? I don't think so. I want that big for me. Am I allowed to touch them? I have no idea. I mean, alarm's gonna go off and we're gonna get kicked out of here. Get kicked out of the baby land. Mm -hmm. I'm playing with Disco Flamingo. It's a life size one. Oh my goodness. It's it's life sized. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna talk to you. Wanna play a game? I can feel your breathing. <laughs> Must have done a lot of these. Hey mom. <laughs> we are, we're like really freaked out. We don't have <laughs> But uh there's a tree over there with a bunch of cabbages coming out of it. That might be the birthing center. Have fun. We've been trying to find the birthing center. Well I am, Jay is not. Eyes. I want one of these. Let me put this in the truck. That's oh. actually really awesome. <laughs> All these accessories. You I should get some glasses for, for your. Cat. Yep, yep. It's Do good. they work? They have like a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to go to the birthing area? No, I told you I'm not going over there. They had a baby boy today. They had a baby boy. No, I'm not going over there. I thought it was, you know, birthing area. They were literally gonna be like pushing them out of places. <laughs> that's why I wanted them. If they pushed the head through the cabbage, yeah, that would be. Yeah. You? Yeah, I think there's a whole story. Are they Lex Luthor's kids? Apparently they have a lot of coffee. What do kids need for coffee? Maybe the Cabbage Patch needs the coffee. Could be. You know, coffee grounds are good for your, the soil. Oh, so it's growing coffee babies. Just making shit up. No, the repetition of this is really terrifying actually. Oh god, that one's moving. Oh no. Oh no. It's about to hatch. Is it just one of them? No, it's like, no, that one's sort of moving. Oh, a couple of them are moving now. Here's where you disappear and they never find you again. I didn't expect that. Like, they already sacrificed this child. Oh yeah, that's what they do. This they, is take, the, they take the babies, they don't make it, and they throw them in the yeah, yeah, yeah. and they don't want to eat them. This is the fertilizer. This is the fertilizer, child. Oh, easy. <laughs> easy. Oh, man. Wait, what's in there? Wait, why does the mom have... What's that say? Imagine a cillin? So not only are they, like, jazzed up on coffee, they're getting whatever's in that magical bottle. There's a lot happening here. Magic no, it's a magic cylinder. Magic cylinder? Get it? 
Because it's penicillin? I don't get it. Do all these do all these cabbage patches have an infection? Penicillin. That's what it is. Are they sick? Imagination. You have to imagine the kids. You realize that this is a stage. Yeah, I don't want to see what happens. <laughs> it's happening. I'd imagine it's where all those people are going. Magic is happening. Go. So you go over there and do that. I'm not doing that. Anyone's first visit with us? All right, all right. Quite a few with our is daddy tour. Well, is everyone hoping for today a boy or a girl? All right, all right. So I did hear a little bit of both. So on the count of three, if you're wishing for a little girl, cross your fingers as tight as you can. Yell pink, pink, pink. And if you're wishing for a little boy, cross your fingers as tight as you can. Yell blue, blue, blue. Ready? One, two, three. Blue, blue, blue. All right. So I am going to take a quick song here to see what we are having. We are having a happy, healthy baby. And with all that pink, it looks like we are having a baby girl. Yay! All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is give Mother Cabbage a large dose of Amagicillin. Now, Amagicillin does not hurt or harm Mother Cabbage. It just helps loosen up her leaves and make for an easier delivery. Now I'm going to give Mother Cabbage an extra large dose of TLC. And does anybody know what TLC stands for? That's right. I see we have some nurses in our audience today. Now I'm going to check to make sure that Mother Cabbage is a full 10 leaves apart. All right. It looks like she is. We're off to a very good start. Now the procedure I'm going to be performing today is called the ECOTOMY. We're the only hospital in the world that does this, though I'm really not sure why, so I've never had any complications. And I've never had a form of C-section before, which for all you newcomers stands for a cabbage section here at Babyland. All right, does look like Mother Cabbage is about ready, but first she is feeling just a little bit nervous for this delivery, so she's gonna need everyone's help with a quick breathing exercise. So on the count of three, can you all breathe in for me? Ready, one, two, three. And out. Breathe in. And out. One more time, but this time I really need to see the gentleman breathing. Ready, in and out. Awesome, all right. And here's our baby girl. All right. So I'm gonna wrap her up and tell you guys a few things about her. So the very first thing that I do notice about our beautiful girl is that she was born bald, which that's okay, just means our interns forgot to fertilize her part of the patch last night. The next thing I notice are her big, beautiful brown eyes and her cute little Audi belly button where I gently clipped her from Mother Cabbage. Now a quick story for you all, a few years ago our interns asked asked to plant some corn by our cabbage crop, and now due to cross-pollination, all of our babies are born here with ears. <laughs> so just like every baby born here at Babyland, she was born with Xavier Roberts' birthmark on her little bottom. What was the weirdest thing? What was it? Oh, can we get one of those paper hats? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is he the birthing store? I think so. No, he delivers them. Oh, he just delivers them? Yes. Got it. Let's see, what's his name? Marlon Williams. Marlon Williams. Yeah, it's all the ones that were born today. There's no one. Oh, there's a little girl. Yeah, it's a little kitty baby. Its shirt says the snuggle is real. <laughs> You're getting that from me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Can't wait to start my nursing career here at the <laughs> at the Cabbage Patch Hospital. Was oh, that you and your little baby? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do that. What? It's a magicilla. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. With... <laughs> that was one of the weirdest things. When they... Yeah, I told you. Oh. When so they this... <laughs> when they lifted the baby up and everybody goes, oh. Oh yeah. I mean that's cool. It's a, mm. it's a it's a doll. No. Uh, you think we can buzz the drone around here?